Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Traders Destination. Today is uh, 14th of May 2018 and uh, today onwards I will be sharing the review video for both the strategies that I have published in my channel. Awesome Nifty strategy as well as Do Kadam. Okay, so uh, first I will uh, talk about Awesome Nifty strategy where today again we had made a profit of 36 points. Uh, there was a two a trade kind of a setup we had taken two trades the first trade was of around 14 points profit and the second trade was of around 22 points profit and in two kadam there is a new observation that we have found today basis that if uh, people had hold this till end i mean till 315 they had made a loss of uh, five points hence minus five but going by the uh, going by the observation that i mentioned that we will be following and uh, that is something which I have also mentioned in the elaborate description of this Tukadam, people would have made around uh, 5 points profit. So let me take you to the chart in some time. Uh, before taking you to the chart, here is some details about me. The series of uh, service uh, or the strategies that I have uh, stored for you, which I will be launching gradually as time comes. If you like my channel, if you like this video, Please uh, like it, share it among your friends and uh, family and definitely subscribe to the channel. So taking you to the chart now, um, first I will be covering uh, using the awesome nifty strategy. So this is nifty futures today um, and when I am looking into this chart, uh, just have a look at, so right from the morning it was over, it was at an overboard zone, it was over uh, RSI 65, hence we will not be getting into a buy side of the trade. Uh, what happened is like we got these three candles 10 30 a.m. candle 10 45 a.m. candle and 11 a.m. candle if you look into these three candles these are the three candles where the value of these three candles are closing one below the other and at the same time if you are seeing this uh, the trend is in an uptrend where the value is increasing for this volume so in such a situation what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to make a short sell below this uh, below the range of this three candle and uh, the target will be 1 is to 1. So if you are seeing over here that uh, below the range of this candle it was 834 and the high of this 3 candle was around 49. So it was a, a range of around 14 points. You made a short sale over here in this candle. In this candle means the 11.30 m candle that 14 points uh, profit is achieved. Now see what happened after that. Refer to these 3 candles. This 3 candle means the candle of 11 am, 11.15 am and 11.30 am again for these three candles the range is from uh, forming from like 10,808 to 10,844 so around uh, 30 uh, plus points range was formed so what we are supposed to do again below this uh, three candle range because again over here it is clearly uh, uh, all the three volume candles are in an uptrend hence we are supposed to make a short sell over here with the target one is to one now there is a, a catch over here i mean that's the learning for the day that uh, i think i have also mentioned this in my previous videos whenever this kind of a situation was formed so whenever such kind of a setup forms whenever you are actually making a uh, making a short sell basis uh, this uh, three dark crow or three white soldier or even any of the strategy uh, always our target okay the target will be the 50 moving average line or the R3 or S3 whichever is there so hence uh, at this point of time the moment when you will be making a short sell over here at 10,808 the target will not be 1 is to 1 but the target will be some somewhere around 778 7, uh, 770 7, just a sec sorry 776 okay somewhere around 776 and uh, as you have seen over here that the line the 50 moving average line was uh, uh, going towards the upside hence what we have to do is as and when the as and when the 50 moving average line will uh, change its value we are also supposed to change the value of the target anyways as per the awesome nifty strategy you are watching uh, chart after every 15 minutes so at the end of this candle that is 11 30 m candle your target was here at 776 after that the next candle got formed uh, it's okay you don't need not make any changes because the uh, target itself is not i mean the trade itself is not triggered 
but if you are referring to this 12 pm candle it had uh, by then the tr uh, trade would have uh, triggered by then and as the trade got triggered your uh, target will become 778 look at the next candle again the target will be uh, revised to 780 so like that what you have to do is you have to keep updating the target because this line over here the 50 moving average line is going to be your target what happens is eventually 786 was the was the value of this line where the target got modified into basis this candle basis 115 candle and that target got hit at uh, by the 130 pm candle so you have you have booked a profit of around 22 points uh, as you are trailing the profit over here you are not trailing the stop loss okay you have to trail the profit in both these cases uh, whenever we face this kind of a situation we need to trail profit uh, trail, trail the target and uh, look after that what happened uh, anyways there was again a one more setup was formed of three dark row by looking into these three candles if you see that is your uh, 1245 1 pm and 1 15 pm but uh, the low of the these three candles were not broken and hence uh, no third trade uh, took place today as per the awesome nifty strategy so there were two trades as per awesome nifty strategy uh, in the first uh, trade we booked 14 points profit and in the second trade we booked 22 points profit in short we have booked around 36 points profit today okay now coming to uh, dokadam okay so uh, the setup for dokadam is quite simple uh, in dokadam again um, i'm just changing the color so that it becomes easy for you to distinguish between the two as you will watch it at a later point of time so let's see Doka, Dokadam in this in white color and let's see what uh, awesome nifty in black so as you were seeing uh, Dokadam what's happening over here is um, this is the morning candle so when the morning candle of 9 15 am that is uh, the candle which ended at 9 45 when this candle was formed um, the RSI was above uh, 65 so hence what happens is you are not supposed to buy but you are supposed to make a sell over here basis your uh, yeah, uh, this is the target of 1 is to 1, okay. Now, when you are actually taking this trade in the morning, you are seeing that the 50 double exponential moving average line was here. What was the low of the candle? The low of the candle was 810. So, you are supposed to uh, make a short sell uh, 1 and one rupee 10 paisa below, uh, uh, below the low of the first candle. And the target will be of 1 is to 1. But in today's case, uh, the 50 DEMA line was quite above. So what happens is uh, 784 to 810. So it was like, uh, it was around uh, 26 points uh, target was there against a 33 point of uh, candle. So the stop, uh, if you are uh, looking into it from a risk to reward standpoint, today uh, looking at the first candle, it was not a 1 is to 1. It was more like uh, 38 points of uh, stop loss versus around 30 points of target. So what happens as a as this strategy says that you are supposed to look into the platform only twice a day, one in the morning and again in the afternoon. So this is the morning you have raised it, uh, you have placed this order and you are waiting for it. Uh, again, you are supposed to check it at 12.15 by the time you logged in at 12.15 and you checked. So this is the 12.15 candle. Uh, you would have seen that um, in that 12.15 candle, uh, I mean sorry, in the 11.45 candle uh, which closes at 12.15, that trade got executed. So after uh, when the trade gets executed, uh, uh, this is the morning candle, you are left with two options. Either you can modify your stop loss uh, so, uh, to the high of the afternoon candle so that uh, whatever may be the value, if it goes up, it will not uh, make lot of losses or you can stick uh, to the stop loss uh, as per the first candle only okay but what uh, what is the learning of the day is see the rule uh, as as i mentioned in the awesome nifty strategy or the same thing is applicable over here also uh, that's the rule of uh, you know like there are certain rules when you are trading in nifty okay uh, and again these are basis observation i may be wrong i may be right okay so basis observation what it states is uh, whenever there is this 50 uh, moving average or double exponential moving average line coming in between the target okay be it the 50 DEMA line or 50 MA line or maybe if uh, R3 or S3 are coming in between the target then that is going to be your target and not the 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 3 whatever is the value and that's the only reason why while plotting this uh, strategy we have also plotted the Fibonacci pivot point which is there on top 
so say for example if today we were at a buy side and the target was one is to three if that one is to three was uh, below this uh, topmost pivot point line then we will set that as our target but if it was crossing the uh, topmost uh, pivot point line then that will be our target for the day similarly that the same principle is applicable to the 50 double exponential moving average line as well so what happened today is uh, you have made an entry at around um, over here at around 10,808 rupees 90 paisa and by the time you are actually checking in over here in the afternoon you are seeing that the uh, 50 DMA line is very very uh, it's uh, very near to this point but by then that uh, by then the uh, tree uh, the I mean the uh, short sell uh, trigger had already been executed so hence you will be left with only five or six point of uh, target for the day so what you should have done is you should have actually uh, modified your target as per the 50 DMA line somewhere here so whoever did that they have earned a profit of around five points but uh, people uh, some of them like I myself had also decided to hold it uh, till the end and uh, if you are holding it till the end and then you have to anyways release it basis the this is the last candle so I will not not take this as the last candle because uh, you are actually supposed to hold it till 320 p.m. after 320 p.m. you don't have any control on the price so that uh, even if you would have left it at 320 p.m. today then you would have uh, made a loss of minus 5 so hence friends uh, I have called out in the chart uh, I mean in the description over here that I have shown over here that in Dokadam today people had made either minus 5 points if they have hold it till the end and if they have not hold it till the end if they have looked into the 50 double exponential moving average line and took that as a target and sold it over there then they had made a profit of 5 points so so far in the month of May uh, it has remained profitable both the strategies has, has remained profitable but uh, again I would like to reiterate that um, both these strate strategies are no loss intraday trading strategy and when I say these are no loss intraday trading strategy it doesn't mean that each and every single day you will not make any loss okay so it means that if you are consistently using this strategy month on month day by day then at the end of the month you will end up with some profit which is on the positive side from this okay and uh, that's uh, that's all for today's uh, uh, learning uh, friends these are the as you all know that this is the tutorial video and at the end of the every day I post this video to share the learning of the day so this was the learning of the day uh, it was a very simple day from both the aspects uh, it's more like sticking to the rule following the formula and trading so let's see how the day comes uh, tomorrow let's hope tomorrow also remain a good day like today and uh, wish you all happy trading that's all for today friends goodbye